Hello ladies and welcome to Melanie23's channel. Um, today we've got a few newspapers so I'm just gonna go go on in. Okay this is a Dear Abby. The harder man works the more his wife cheats. I have to read this one to you guys. It's so sad. I am a 47 year old man married for 26 years. I'm hopelessly in love with my wife and still see her as the most beautiful woman in the world. I have always been self-employed and have sometimes been at the extremes of feast or famine during the bad times. I often work 110 plus hours weeks to have the to save the ship. Each time things have gotten really bad, my wife has had an affair to make up for the time, money, and attention I can't provide her. I found out about her latest affair, her third. Um, when I found a secret cell phone in her purse for the last eight months when she visits our daughter at college She would check into a hotel with her lover. I feel responsible for fa failing to meet her needs She doesn't want a divorce but admits she doubts she will ever stop dating and says the effort she puts into deceiving me is proof she loves me and doesn't want to hurt my feelings I am amazed at the number of men willing to have sex with a married woman. My heart is broken and I feel like a failure. Am I a fool to keep loving her? To keep fighting for her? I'm going to give you guys Abby's um, response and then I'm going to tell you my opinion. It says, I hope you realize that as beautiful as your wife may be, your relationship with her isn't a healthy one. Please go online and look up the definition for the word codependency. If your wife loved you, she would prove it by doing everything in her power to help you through the rough periods, including finding a job to help with the bills, not sneaking around with other men. That she would claim her deceits is proof of her love and that you would be believing her is amazing. This woman has showed no remorse. She has told you she doesn't plan to be faithful in the future do not let her hoodwink you into believing her infidelity is your fault because you worked yourself nearly into a physical collapse trying to save your business and provide her provide for her if you accept that it would be foolish now let me just say this me and my husband have been married only for six years. My opinion on this situation. I used to only work two days out of the week and that was like three, four hours. Okay. Stuff hit the fan and I am now doing a five day live in and I only come home on Sunday. Monday I work for three hours but I come home but then on Tuesday I come right back here. Okay. And my husband is not working right now. Does that mean what well, I'm about to go out? Oh, because he can't do what he. Man, he should drop kick her like a bad habit. Married for 26 years, and every time times get rough, she go out and cheat. <sighs> Only God can change people. I tell you that much. But um, sticking around, I wouldn't do this. It says okay, and then this one is a. Uh, Okay, so one person writes, Abby, what is the etiquette for taking pictures at a funeral? Um, someone sent her pictures of her um, husband's funeral and someone else's funeral from her family. Um, and Abby says, you know, even though this sounds weird, it has become more common for people to take pictures, but the most important thing is you ask the family and in that case the wife you know is it okay and um, before they sent those pictures let her know hey there's these pictures of this coming um, just in case she wasn't emotionally or physically ready to see those pictures my opinion I don't want to okay this is my opinion and I've seen my friends showing me pictures of their loved ones in the casket I don't want to see it. Me, I'm sorry. I know that it's a relief to someone, some people, and a uh, celebration. But I don't want to see that. I don't even like funerals. The first funeral I went to was my dad's. And my whole life, 
my dad's and um, one of my very close clients. That's it. I do not go to those willingly. Um, the only reason why I went to my dad's, I was underage. Um, I was still a minor then. And I was kind of forced. And then I left my home and my just my grandma um, understanding how I felt made me feel like, okay, whatever, I'm going to go. But I don't like the place. I don't like the smell. I don't like the um, down, you know, everybody being so sad and everybody crying. I don't like being around that kind of atmosphere. If you guys noticed, I don't ever come on here with a bad attitude or talk to my subbies wrong or leave bad comments on other people's things unless it's really really called for but I don't like those that kind of atmosphere so that's not me and taking pictures is a whole nother issue I don't would not do that okay so okay affair with phone leaves husband feeling cheated okay so this is another dear Abby um and this I remember this was yesterday's, I believe. Uh, yeah, Wednesday. Uh, two days ago. Okay, I'm just going to go. Anyways, this guy has been married for 17 years. And he says that his wife is on her phone or her laptop or her iPad. Every time he turns around, he says sometimes he even stays up at night um, waiting for her in the bed. And then she gets in the bed, goes to sleep, and, you know turns off her phone and everything like that but this is the thing TV cell phones laptop all that electronic stuff has come in between everyone I believe um, I heard back in the day there were no TVs in the bedroom because in the bedroom was where you talked with your spouse and you you know you did your thing TV takes away from personal time so um, I think uh, oh Abby um, Abby's opinion was she says she looked around for a um, rehab center for cell phones which they don't have but she said soon they will because a lot of people like me um, at work I really can't leave my phone alone I have it in my hand all the time or it's in my pocket unless it's on the charger you know so I understand it could be an addicting thing plus people are like on Twitter and Instagram doing everything or Facebook whatever you know looking for posts waiting for somebody to post something up and you know the guy he felt really bad because his wife doesn't give him any attention anymore because she's always on her phone um, Abby also suggested that he bring it to her attention again um, because this will be the second time. He said he did bring it to her attention and she slowed down. But it's not enough because he's still not getting any attention. So the second one on... Oh, I'm sorry ladies. Hold on. 